Hey guys, this is Kriti and I'm back with a third episode in this I am addicted to Instagram series. So, listen, truth be told, I don't have any pics left to post on Instagram, so I thought it's time. It's time I make one of these. And the thought process behind selecting the theme of this video was this. I have started a vintage beige theme on my IG and I was really wondering whether I'll be able to put anything of color with this kind of theme ever so I thought of sending myself on a day mission with flowers cuz can it get more colorful than that and also I mean no one else has given me flowers lately so I thought I'll get myself some <laughs> hashtag things single people do so one prop two cameras and me let's start the mission So for the first one let's start with the most popular of all a rose so i saw this painting of a girl holding a rose and it was so damn beautiful that i thought of recreating it in a picture i also wanted no distractions in the background with a little shadow play to add some texture hence i went with this corner in my house also for this episode i decided to click these myself in order to show you guys that you don't really need anyone to create art you are self sufficient and capable to do it all you need is time and a little extra effort i used the technique of taking a video and then taking screenshots from it cuz I find that way simpler than using a timer. Anyway, um then I held the rose in one hand placing it on my face like that, covering up half of my face and clicking a kind of moody picture and tada, this is how it turned out. For the second one I thought why not bring fashion and photography together this is for all you girls who cannot find a good top to wear for your clicks we do have an option to make our own tops with flowers of course just don't um wear this and go outside to buy like groceries or something i mean you can if you want to but don't blame me if you attract some unwanted attention from bees um i wore a white pants so that all the color attention goes on my top aka flowers and here we have it Now that we are unstoppable, I decided to make a headgear made of flowers cuz I was feeling a bit Lady Gaga by now. I put up the yellow side of my comforter but didn't like how the pics turned out and also didn't want to take the attention from this showstopper, so I decided to keep the background white and my outfit black. I honestly love this dress and I feel it's so feminine that it just perfectly fit this image in my head when I was planning my shots of course. Uh um, you know how much I love planning already. If not, watch the first episode in the series and I'm sure you'll know. Okay boys and girls get ready for a little adventure because for the next three ideas we are going outdoors doing a flower theme shoot and not including the nature doesn't match up for me this is my tripod and my camera and i'm going to just open my flowers and yeah that's it so I passed by this land a while back and had it in my mind since. So with this one I really wanted these flowers. Um I have been so fascinated with them. There is something about them that just makes me very very happy. So I placed my camera here in this field and tried a bit far off shots. Let's all fly together and I will show you place you never been. Thank you.
is a good hack when you don't have anyone to shoot for you but still want that bokeh around your camera frame. I placed these same flowers around my camera like so and secured it with a rubber band. The only time when my rubber band came in handy while clicking pics. Then I placed it as low as it can get on the ground for that low angle overlooking the sky shot. You were the laughter early in the morning Down in the kitchen watching TV I didn't know how the outcome would be of the shots once I edit them so for safe side I also clicked some on my stool. I looked up to you, brother Even when you lost your way In the madness of New York City Oh, you found her And now I know there's all for me I am in that phase of my life where aesthetics feed my soul. Well, actually, I don't know if it's, it's just a phase or my whole life, but I wanted to create a vintage blurry photo on my bed comforter. Plus, with the new feed, I don't just like clicking my own pictures, but anything and everything that inspires me. So here are three aesthetically pleasing clicks I took with this flower thing. It's just so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did filming it. You can also view my other episodes, the first and the second one. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And press the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I put the next video. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.